Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do my home fragrance empties for the month of October. So as per usual, I'm filming this early, but I probably won't get it up until later in the month. I just want to get this stuff put away out of my bins, recycled, etc. So anyway, October was not the best melting or burning month for me. I was gone for a week. I was out of town for a week and I just was kind of like, there are days where I did not even change my wax. Like it was not, and I'm kind of running into that problem right now where I just haven't been changing my wax as often. So we'll see how November is, but right now things are not looking so hot for November. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, it's, it hasn't been like the priority of things to do on a daily basis, if that makes sense. But anyway, hopefully I'll get back into the groove. So let me start with candles. And all I have this month are Bath and Body Works candles. So the first one I have is I kind of transitioned from summer to fall in October. I did it kind of late because it's been hot here. So I have from uh, Bath and Body Works Pomegranate Lemonade. And this is a beautiful jar. Like I'm absolutely keeping this jar. Set oh, <laughs> so I almost drop it. This is a 2020 candle. And the set notes are juicy pomegranate, zesty lemons, and sugar crystals. And I love this candle. It smells so good. It did a really good job burning, no sooting. Mm, I love the way this smells. I can't remember. I don't think they brought this back this year. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe it'll come back at some point in the fall. It's already past fall. I don't think it's going to come back. <laughs> I'm hoping it'll come back soon. Or maybe I missed it. A few other like summer transition-y candles that I had. The Perfect Summer. I mean, this is not really a transition candle, but I think I had it burning in the bedroom and I just left it. So this is Sun Kiss Citrus, Orange Blossoms, and Coconut Husk. This is really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a great citrus scent. I really do love this one. Yeah, nice. Oh, and this was a 2019 candle. And then the last one of like my summer candles that I was still melting or burning <laughs> was Flamingo Beach. And I think I've melted one of these already this year. This was a 2019 candle, pink summer berries, juicy orange, and dewy white petals. Yeah, this one was really nice. It kind of started to get a little kerosene-y towards, more towards the end, but I really did enjoy this. I think I also burned this in the bedroom. I could be wrong. Okay, a couple of fall can candles. I have vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And this is one of the few like pumpkin scents from Bath and Body Works that I can do. I can't do a lot, but this one is really nice. So this was a 2020 candle. I want to say 2020. I want to say 2001 candle, but it's not. It's a 2020 candle. Scent notes are Tahitian vanilla, pumpkin spice, homemade marshmallow, drizzled caramel. So... I don't get a ton of the pumpkin spice. It's, I smell a lot more of the vanilla and the marshmallow with the pumpkin. So that's why I like this because you don't smell as much spice. I don't like spicy candles or scents in general. So that was nice. I like that one. And then last up, I have L lavender vanilla. And this is really beautiful. This is a 2020 candle, lavender blossom, creamy vanilla, white woods, and sugared musk. Oh my gosh. So good. So, so good. I love this one. I would 100% repurchase this one in a lot. And this candle jar is really beautiful. Okay, so those were all the candles I got through. Okay, now let's get into some Scentsy wax. So... I did go through a lot. I didn't go through how much uh, as much as I normally do. So in the bathroom, I used Palm Beach Breeze. I think this is part of uh, the summer collection from last year. And it's in my club, my Scentsy Club. 
This is so nice. It's a great bathroom scent. I think it's also really great for the laundry room, which they actually have this in the laundry line now. It's really nice. I always mention Scentsy Club and I never tell you what it is. So Scentsy Club is basically like a create your own like subscription club thing that Scentsy has. You can add any of their consumable products into your club and you can cancel it at any time. You can do it monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. And the great thing about it is you can add like discontinued or limited edition scents to your club. And that way you don't have to worry about never being able to get that scent again. So you can only do that with the, with the wax bars, the Scentsy bars. That doesn't apply for any of the other things that the limited edition scents come out in like like um, scent circles or these you know scent pods or anything like that but yeah that's the reason why i like it and my club is ridiculous like i need to pare it down but anyway this is really nice oh i love this one appealing apple this is such a great apple scent oh my gosh if you don't like like that Macintosh apple scent, you prefer like traditional apples like Granny Smith or anything, like this. It's so good. Mac apple to me is too pungent. It's too much. Like it overtakes anything you pair it with. This is beautiful. So if you're like me and you're not a huge fan of Mac apple, then I would try appealing apple. It's so good. Okay, this is citrus pom pomegranate. This actually came from Europe. Oh, this smells so good. There was a Sensi consultant that I kind of partnered with and purchased some wax that you can get in Europe and then she sent it to me. It's a way more expensive to do that. But I was just intrigued with some of these scents that they have that we don't. And there was a, a warmer that I wanted. It was like a sugar skull warmer. So I had ordered from her previously and I was like, let me just order some. And she sent like a bunch of wax to me all at once over the course of like three or four months. I ordered some stuff. Anyway, this was one of the scents that I ordered and this is really, really nice. It's a great fall citrus scent. I mean, you know, with that pomegranate, it was really great. This is Star Wars The Force Light Side. I really don't prefer these. I'm just trying to make my way through them. They have a light side and a dark side. And this is okay. Like, it's not my favorite. Like, I think I did this in the bathroom. Yeah, I just, I would not repurchase that. I have the Lion King Circle of Life. And I've had this one in my collection for a little while. And this is, this is nice. It's like, it's definitely kind of like that cozy scent, at least coming from the clan. But I think I melted this in the living room and I liked it, but it wasn't enough for me to add to my club whenever it was originally out. But you know, I don't, I don't mind it. It smells pretty good. I do have a few like summery scents like that I was transitioning into the fall. So I have Lucky Star Fruit. This was in my kitchen. That's where I use this. Again, this was okay. I actually think this I melt might have added vanilla, vanilla bean um, buttercream to this to tone down the tone it down just ge in general. Because I don't love this scent, but I think I may have one more of these. This is part of the International Wax Collection from a couple of years ago, I think. I have Lemon Verbena, and this was used in my laundry area. And this is a nice Lemon Verbena. If that's your, if that's your thing, if you like Lemon Verbena scents, this is nice. It's not my favorite, so that's why I, I figured it was good for the laundry room from, for that clean smell, but it's not something that I would repurchase. Uh, let's see. I also have a juicy apple raspberry as part of the mix it collection. I love this one. It is part of my club. I like to melt it on its own. It's good as a mixer too, but I always just melt it on its own. It's so good. Okay. I have from the Disney villains collection, mistress of evil. I think this is Maleficent mistress of evil. Yeah. This I have to say, 
I feel like I had to let this cure for like a year to get the throw that I wanted out of it, which is really interesting. Or my nose changed, but I really do like this. I'm adding it back to my club. I have Pretty and Plum. And this was, I think I found this in the clearance section. And it's definitely a gourmand scent. It's got that um, kind of, I wouldn't even say buttery, but yeah. A bit of a buttery bakery scent along with a tart plum. I like this. I don't love it because I'm not really a huge gourmand fan, like gourmand scent fan. But for a fall bakery scent, this is unique and interesting. And I do enjoy melting it during this time of year. But I would not add it to my club. Plum and White Woods. So this is where I started to pull out my fall wax. So this is really nice too. This is a it's on the lighter side, which I was hoping by having this in my collection for a year that it would be stronger, but it's on the lighter end, like light to medium throw. I want it to be stronger and that's why it didn't stay in my club, but it's nice. It's a nice kind of cozy, warm, plummy scent. Yeah, I just want it to be stronger. Cedar Cider. And I don't typically like scents like this, but it's a scent that I had it. So I was like, I need to melt it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like scents like this. I mean, it's okay. It's a typical fall scent, but I don't need that. And I don't need any more of that in my life. And then I have vanilla blackberry. And this is so beautiful. It is a bit on the lighter side. So again, I would say light to medium. I want it to be a little stronger and I'm hoping by letting it cure for a little while, it will be stronger. It is a scent of the month from August, I think, but it's really pretty. So I'll still keep it in my club, even though it's a bit on the lighter side. So those were all the wax bars. So I typically have a lot more than that, but that's all I got through in the last month. I do have some scent circles. So I will typically use these either in my car hanging from the rear view mirror or many of these were used in my trash can to like freshen up the trash. Um, I think this one was, I think the only one, this may have been the only one that was hanging in my car and it's Bonfire Beach. And I did have, I think I had the pods going in my car too or something like that. I have, I think the rest of these I think were trash can scent circles. I have Perfectly Pomegranate. This was really nice. I can't really smell it anymore. Strawberry Taffy. So I think I picked this up in the clearance section and I was like, okay, and it smelled pretty good. I have Hibiscus Pineapple. I do like this one a lot. And then Squeeze the Day is always a good staple, like citrusy scent to freshen up your trash can. So I use those. And then I also used a, a pack of scent pods. This is in Fiesta Lime. This was part of the uh, summer collection from last year. This was light. Like I was surprised with the lime because lime is usually pretty strong. I think lime can be pretty strong. These were light. I just, it was funny because I think I was, my Valerie, um, who I started my a project pan with, she was with me in Dallas when I had this going in the car and she even made a comment. She's like, oh, we, you didn't have your thing plugged in. And I was like, I did. You just couldn't smell it. It was light. Okay. So, and by the way, by thing, I meant fan diffuser, like a little mini fan diffuser. I like to use that on the car to freshen up the car. Okay. So that was all the Scentsy stuff. And now let's get into indie wax. Well, actually, before I do that, I do have a couple of things that aren't indie, but that were not scentsy. So I have two from Huntington Home. And the first one I have is Apple Cider. And this one was okay. I mean, these, these aren't very strong. I think that's, you just got to know that going in. They're on the like $3, I think, for one of these. And they're not as strong as like Scentsy waxes. This is more of a traditional like apple scent with a tiny hint of a spice. Like it's not super spicy, which I like that. Like I don't want it to be super spicy. 
like a little bit of cinnamon, but mostly apple. And I kind of liked that about this, but again, it was on the lighter end, but I did melt this in my kitchen. And I also melted pumpkin spiced whipped cream in the kitchen. And this one's actually pretty good. It's more on the bready note, which I'm not typically a fan, but I liked it because it wasn't super spicy for a pumpkin scent. And I didn't hate the bready note. I think if you don't like bready notes, you can add some like vanilla icing or vanilla bean buttercream or something with like something like that to it. But yeah, I didn't hate it. It was just, again, a little bit on the lighter end. So some indie clams. This one I was not a fan of. This is by L3 Waxy Wonders. It's the scent Lemon Eclair. I don't like her clams. I think Susan Fitzpatrick feels the same way about L3's clams that, like I do. Or I feel the same way she does. They're not, I don't like them. Yeah. Mm -mm. It The scent, I smell more of like the, the plastic from the clam than I do the actual scent. And I don't feel like her scents are strong in these clams. This came as a freebie, well, not a freebie, but part of a mystery box. And I've had two, I've melted two of these and I, not, not this particular scent, but I had another one. I didn't, I didn't like it. From Southbound Candle Co., I have Napa Valley. And the scent notes for this are figs, tart, fruits, pear juice, and gentle white musk. This was nice. I feel like it was, again, on the lighter end, but it was a nice fig scent. You can smell that pear juice. It's good. I have two from Super Tarts. I have Hawaii, which I just came from. And this one was kind of like my transition from summer to fall. Pina Colada, Blue Hawaiian, and Beechwood. And this one smells good. It's not as strong as I think I want it to be, but it's nice. It's nice. I think I melted this in my living area. Yeah, I like that. And one of my favorite bakery like scents ever, and I that's a very strong statement because I don't like a lot of bakery, but from Super Tarts, it's Nova Prime. This is freaking amazing. Bakery Shop, Lemon Meringue, and Blackberry Cream. Lemon and Blackberry. You put those things together and I'm in, and this is so good. Oh my gosh. You smell more of the lemon and the blackberry than you do like a gourmand scent. I love this. I bought a band bag of it when she had it as part of a pre-order. So good. From Teddy Bee's, I have Beaches. And this is like one of her large clams. Warm sand, sea spray, mandarin, jasmine, and lavender. And I think I used this in the bathroom, in the spare ba bathroom. And this is nice. It's too floral for my taste, which is why it ended up in the bathroom. So I would not repurchase this, but her wax is so good. If you ever wanted to try somebody's wax, try hers. Indie wax. Well, a lot of the stuff I talked about, you know what I mean. Okay, destination wax. I have a couple of scent shop cups. I have watermelon sorbet. And this is fresh watermelon, honeydew, kiwi, and vanilla sugar. And this is nice, but it's on the lighter end, which bums me out because I love watermelon scents. And then I have Pink Sand Beach. And this is similar to Yankee Candles Pink Sands, fruit, flowers, and a splash of coconut cream. Yeah, this was a light scent. I just don't think that I need it again. Okay, so that was all of the clams and such, but I do have a bunch of bags. And I'm just gonna go in the order I'm not going to separate them out. From Hayden Row, I have Tangerine Gelato, and I love this one. It smelled so good. I can't smell it anymore, but yeah, it was nice. I really did enjoy it. All of her, almost all of her scents, uh, Hayden Row, they do really well. Like, they perform really well. They're strong. Like, I've, I've been very happy with all of the wax I've had from her. Rainbow Melt Saltwater Mermaid. I melted this in my bathroom, and this was really good, too. Mm -hmm. really good oh scent notes for this are this fresh watery green fragrance delicately combines notes of ocean mist and seagrass with agave nectar and coconut milk so yeah it was really nice nice in the bathroom 
From the Starlit Corner, I have Magic Sangria, which is just a little mini. And I think my friend Valerie may have melted this when she was visiting. Black grapes, orange, black plum, berries, apple, and pineapple drenched in chilled red wine. I think she melted this. And I remember her saying that she really liked it. She melted it in the bedroom that she was staying in. And I remember her saying she liked it. I think that's right. Another one from Blended with Love, I have Babe with the Power, white tea, blue agave, baby bee buttermilk, white linen, and a touch of baby powder. And this one I used in my laundry area. And this was okay. I mean, the scent was fine. The throw on this was fine. I just, I, it's not something that I need to have, so I would not repurchase. From Rose Girls, I have a little sample of Hot and Humid, and this was really really good I think I may have reordered this scent recently like in the last couple of months from destination wax I have coconut leaves fruit floral coconut blend which is coconut tangerine papaya jasmine palm leaves palm leaves and vanilla inspired by Bath and Body Works this was fantastic I think these were like little, her little, she doesn't do them anymore, but they were like blocks. Oh my goodness. This smelled so good. I loved that. 100% would be purchased. From L3 Waxing Wonders, I have Evening Star, and this is lavender, water lily, and sea mist. And I use this in the guest bathroom as well. And this was okay. It's not a scent that I need to have. It's a nice fresh scent if that's what you're looking for, but it's not a repurchase for me. From Glitterati, I have Cotton Candy. And her wax is very strong. It's just really hard to get. And it gets very soft very fast. So I will say that that's one thing I don't love about it is how soft it gets, but it smelled good. It smelled really good. From Rose Girls, I have Angel Fluff Salad. This was really pretty in the summer. Really, really nice in the summer. I really did enjoy this. Really, really enjoyed that. I would 100% repurchase that. Loved it. <laughs> From Ava's Country Cupboard, I have Cactus and Sea Salt. And this was really good. I used this in my laundry area and it was very strong. Smelled really good. Perfect for the laundry room. I love that. I haven't ordered from Ava's in a really long time. From Empire Alchemy, I have yellow polka dot bikini. And this is beach coconut, sweet pear, fresh tied laundry. I used this in my laundry room. This was really good too. A bit on the lighter end, so I don't think I would repurchase the scent, but it was nice. From Closet Full of Wax, I have Oceanus, and the scent notes are lavender, milk, coconut waters, Mediterranean sea salt. And this was used in my bathroom, my guest bathroom. And this was nice. It was, it had decent throw. It's just not a scent that I would repurchase. I didn't like love it, love it. From Ava's Country Cupboard, I have Dreamy Lavender. And I actually have like a bakery bag of this. This was lavender, vanilla, and toasted marshmallow. This was really good. I had this in the laundry room. Oh, it was really, really, really nice. I would repurchase that. That was really pretty. From a crafty barista, I have pink sugared melons. This was fantastic. A blend of pink sugar type and cucumber melon. Oh, I loved this. <laughs> loved it. Well, you can't really smell it anymore, but this I used this in my bedroom and I loved it. Loved. Would we purchase that? I just haven't ordered from her. I think I've ordered from her like twice and that's it. From Rose Girls, I have pomegranate watermelon smoothie. And this was really nice. I think I wanted it to be a little bit stronger. But and I, I feel like watermelon scents in general, it's really hard to get them to be super strong. So I kind of don't necessarily fault her, but it was it was still nice to use that in the kitchen. From Up North Creations, I have raspberry lemonade. 
the tart scent of lemons and the sweet scent of ripe raspberries. And this was really pretty. I had this in my, I think I had this going in my guest bedroom or, and same, it's the same room as my work office. But yeah, that was really nice. From Caden Row, I have a loaf in comfort. This was really nice. It was in the, I used this in the bedroom. It smelled so good. It was a lap, nice lavender blend. It's really, really pretty. I loved that. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I have Junk in Your Trunk. And this is Pink Sugar Cotton Candy, Cotton Candy Strawberry Passion. And this was nice. I think I, I melted this also in the study and it was, it was nice there. It's not, I don't know if it's something that I would repurchase though. I'm not hundred percent sold on it. From Empire Alchemy, I have white flamingo. This was fantastic. hundred percent would repurchase this in like giant loaves, orange blossoms, vanilla bubbles, vanilla ice cream, mimosas. Wow. This was good. Every time I melted this, I was like, Oh my God, I love this. Oh, yeah. I need more of this in my life. So good. From Rose Girls, I have Coastal Kale. And this I melted in the laundry room. And I kind of wanted this to be stronger, too. It's nice. It's nice. I think it'll be great. It's a, I think it's a great blender. And I think that's the way I need to use it moving forward is as a blender versus by itself. And lastly, the last thing I have, right, is from Teddy Bees. And this is Hot Girl Summer. And set notes are crisp melon, island coconut, palm leaves, and a hint of beach treats, which is like beach nights. This was really good. This was in the shape of a bunny, which was super cute. Yeah, this was really good. Mm -hmm. I would purchase this. Yeah, so that's all the wax I got through. I mean, this video is still 30 minutes long. So anyway, those are my empties for the month of October. Hopefully I do better in November. We'll see. Again, it's like a weekend and I'm like, I don't really have that many things that I've melted through. So anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye. No cats today, guys. They are not having it. <laughs> not having it. They are avoiding the bedroom. This one was more of a traditional like apper, apper. <laughs> not apper. <sighs> I think um, Susan Pitts. Pitts I'm sorry, Susan. From Hayden Rowe Candle Co. Hayden, did I say that right? From, I think I had this in the, my um, guest bat, bat, bat. Bye.